Hey, welcome to SmithOS. I see you made it to the documentation. The documentation is full of information. There's a lot here. The purpose of this video is to quickly give you an introduction so you can get started and you feel good about some of the basics of SmithOS. So let's get started. I'm going to begin with creating an agent from scratch. You can also go to templates instead if you like and choose to just explore and remix an existing template and riff off over that. But for this purpose, we're going to create a brand new agent. So I'm going to click create agent. A new screen will appear and, and you'll see you can define your agent name. It doesn't really matter what you write there. I'm just going to call it agent Alexander because that's my name. I'm Alexander. So I'm going to create, cr click create. And here I see my canvas. I have my, I have my canvas where I can design my agents. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an API. So to do that, I'm going to choose an API endpoint. I'm going to drag and drop this. And I'm going to give it an endpoint name, like answer question. Okay. I'm going to leave this all alone. I'm not going to touch anything here and just click. Okay. So at this point we have created an API. I'm going to do one more thing to this API and I'm going to add an input variable called question. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how debug works. I'm going to click debug and I'm going to click the spider here and I'm going to add must ask at my question, what is the origin of the city of Paris? And I'm going to send this question. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You can do that with like control and, and mouse wheel. And I'm going to inspect this. So I have the log, which lets me see what happened. It can also see the headers, which is going to give me the API headers. I can also click on the body, which contains a, a JSON field called question. If you do not know what JSON is, it's JavaScript, Java object, JavaScript object notation. You can do a tutorial around that on YouTube or something, but essentially the body of my API call contains a field called question that has a value of what is the origin of Paris. And one of the ways that I can get that out of here is by clicking plus and then typing body dot question. And you can do that and inspect. Let's do this again. I'm going to run my debugger, hit step. And here you can see what is the origin of the city of Paris. I have the, just a pure string from here. Okay. So what I can do now is I want to show you like real quick, I should have done this before debug, but if you click on this API icon in the bottom, You'll see here, we already have a staging server up and running. We already have the endpoint. We already have the input parameter and you can try this out on yourself, a web form, postman, whatnot. I'm going to click execute and there you go. Success status code with all of the response. Okay. Now this API is done. You do not need to do more work on it. If you wanted to deploy it, you click deploy, you add it here and hit deploy version number, everything. Now deployments do require a starter account or more free accounts will not let you deploy to let not let will not let you deploy, but let's take a look at this here too. If you are a paid user, you'll also be able to secure endpoints with API keys and open off. So everything is built inside of Smith, what you need. No server configuration, no server bill, no security issues, no production versioning issues, no coding the API. It was just drag and drop. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to think about orchestration. So I will want to demonstrate how we connect this to, let's say a GPT. So I want to show you how we're going to connect that to, let's say a GPT. What we're going to do is we're going to click LLM prompt over here. And I'm going to connect my, I'm going to connect my, my question to an LLM prompt. I can choose my model here. It support a Smith supports many models over here. I have all the GPT ones, but if I wanted to use Claude or Gemini or open source models, all I have to do is go to the vault and in the vault, you can I'm going to show this to you, the vault right here on the top. 
you can add your API keys. I'm going to demonstrate this really quickly. So if you wanted to add and support other models, you just add your API key. Now, Smith OS does not provide, does not provide the APIs keys for you. You bring your own, but we also don't charge you for the use of your API keys. So there we are, if OpenAI cuts the cost in half, then that can benefit you immediately. And they've cut the cost in half several times. Every few months, the cost kind of goes uh, half price. And so that's exciting. Now, the question here is going to be sent to this AI model where I can summarize the input text or I can do something like answer this question briefly. And my input from here, my input from here is going to, so the question is going to be filled in here as if this was one prompt. So I'm going to click OK, hit debug, and let's debug it. What is the origin of the city of Paris? Okay, this is now sent over here as an input. My debugger says all the inputs for this are set. So now I can hit step and the answer is the city of Paris is found as a settlement by the Gauls around the third century BC. All right, this is the this is the fundamentals of Smith. You can now do lots of things. You can make prompt chains, connect one LLM prompt to another. You can add image generators, vision detectors, classifiers to make decisions. You can add LLM assistants which have memory, you can add loops, you can add data, vector databases with drag and drop. Just go in your menu. I'm going to show it to you. Just go here to data pool and there you can drag and drop your files, your, add your website and make it conversational. You can browse GPT plugins and use them in your store from the store to click add. And we just show you one here. You can add the web browser. The web browser is now part of here. You can just drag and drop it here. And if I want to browse the web for something, I can maybe send my question from here to here. Right. And so now you have a web browser. Now we don't build or maintain these GPT plugins. Um, so you're responsible to figure out if you trust that. Also hugging face. We integrate with all the hugging face models there. All you have to do is add it and then bring your hugging face key. You can reuse any agent you've previously created. You can integrate with Zapier. You can integrate with many different services here. You can see we're adding services all the time. You can just uh, use search if you like. Okay, so what does it look like to have a bit more advanced scenarios? You can do really cool stuff with Smith. For example, one of my favorite is an SEO content writer. Let's hit remix on that and the agent will be loading. Let me just show you how that works. So we have here, we have three API endpoints. I'm going to click here and you see it. So we have create outline, write content, and article to WordPress. You can do three things. Now you're going to have to bring your own API key for web scraping. Over here, we are using something Aves API, which we personally use and like. You can click the gear. And then over here where the key is, you can replace that with your API key and this will, this will work. Then it will create an outline after scraping Google. And then you can send that outline over here and use it to create a whole article with multiple sections. And then it will compile all those sections here in an, in one article. And you can see we're using the echo system here. It's not using an LLM. It's simply filling out your template here with all of the parts, which is really handy. Once you have an article, you can also send this to WordPress. Over here, you do need to configure this box here and add your WordPress domain, username and password. We have permission to post there. And then it will post here via an API call and you can see what that looks like. Now over here, you can see also status is set, the description, keywords, content title, and by default, this template is going to publish it as draft. But obviously, you're also able to change that to publish status. We like to set a draft. Anyhow, this is an example of what you can uh, do with Smith. There are many templates here for various use cases. And you have also 
the opportunity to to see new ones being added all the time and create your own smith works with with any data any ai any tool api it's ex incredibly powerful i would also show you once you have created it you can also deploy this to different places like chat gpt microsoft copilots you can deploy it to discord slack teams workspaces and so forth to publish you first need to be in a starter plan or above deploy your agent to one of your domains you can manage your subdomains here easily hook them up so that it becomes for example contentwriter.yourdomain.com and so that's it uh, in the documentation you will find information on templates how they work on every component that we have in our sidebar we have explainers we teach you a little bit about prompt engineering as well and then very important we have a discord support which is wonderful if you want to learn how to build agents join discord and ask we have a very helpful community where engineers are there as well to help you so with that said i hope you have a great start to your smith os journey and you can build incredible things. I can't wait to see what you will create. Thank you.